Hi, it's uh, Dr. Adam Perlman. We're here at Cryo Evolution. We're gonna try cryotherapy. There has been a number of interesting studies that found that cryotherapy was effective for reducing muscle soreness. It's probably about as effective as an ice water bath. Of course, a lot less brutal. We have to stay in an ice water bath for a prolonged period of time. Here, although it gets kind of cold, three minutes and you're done. So I'm gonna try some cryotherapy and uh, here we go. Reviewing the rules here, as they call them, I guess the crowd commandments. Put on some gloves. I'm gonna rotate when I'm in there. Pins, needles, numbness, and tingling are normal. Keep your head above the clouds. Girls should cover the girls, and boys should cover the boys. Uh, interesting. I'm gonna get changed, and we'll see how it goes. This is actually a chamber that's gonna be taking liquid nitrogen, turning it into nitrogen gas, and cooling this chamber to about negative 250 degrees Fahrenheit. As you know, cold air is gonna actually help you reduce inflammation, uh, reduce stiffness, pain, soreness. It's certainly gonna be cold in there. Why this particular getup? Why is this the... Uh... So the reason you're wearing a robe socks, slippers, and gloves, is we want the maximum skin exposure to that cold, but we also want to protect the extremities. We still want to have that exposure to the skin and muscles to get that therapeutic effect. Is there any particular uh, reasons that people shouldn't do this? A heart condition would probably be an issue, or a pregnancy. Ne no to both of those, so I think we're okay. We'll be good to go here. All right, hop on in, and you're gonna hand me that rope. Definitely don't want to touch the sides while I'm handing it to you. Try not to. All right. All right, so your three minutes of chill begins now. So the air temperature coming out right now is at about negative 310 degrees Fahrenheit. So you want to go to your warm place. Okay. Where's your warm place? Uh, the beach. Your body's going into a little bit of a state of shock. That's going to boost endorphin production, that melatonin, that serotonin, that uh, norepinephrine, which is going to make you sleep better and kind of increase your mood for the rest of the day. Oh, it feels cold. It feels really cold. Time kind of slows down when you're in here a little bit. So you got one minute left. And then I love getting that time for Like, I can do anything for one more minute, right? So. Uh, your cabin temperature is at about negative 160. It's funny, I feel a little better now, too. Like, almost I've gotten used to it a little. Not no. that I don't want to get out, but it feels a little better. <laughs> Woo. Yeah. My head out of the clouds. Three minutes in there was not the most comfortable, wasn't terrible, but I'd prefer that to lying in a uh, tub of ice water for 20 minutes. You can always do things more locally, using a simple ice pack or a bag of peas. Still can be very therapeutic and very helpful, so I'm gonna go get out of this rope now.